It's a tragic time we live in where we finally get a Transformers movie of great quality and it underperforms like a bad case of whiskey dick. There are people online that are desperately trying to save this movie so that we get a sequel. It makes me sad that it has to come down to that because the studio let this franchise fall apart. Is anyone even excited for a Transformers G.I. Joe crossover? It seems like Paramount is looking at these properties more as toys than actual characters. And while they started as toys, they've become more than that. With the first trailer of Transformers 1, a lot of people had no interest in seeing this movie because it came off as nothing but a kid's movie. I was even uncertain if I wanted to go watch it because it did look like a kid's movie to me. While there's a lot for kids to enjoy in this movie, this story is fairly mature and goes so in-depth with the lore that I don't know if every kid would enjoy this one. After years of letting Michael Bay make Transformers more adult in the worst possible way, the studio didn't even bother to market this movie as a real mature story until it was too late. I really hope Paramount listens to the feedback online and greenlights a sequel because I think there is far more potential for financial success down the road. Look, I don't think this is the best movie in theaters right now, but it is certainly a must watch for the experience alone. And while I don't think this movie will be for everybody, I think that there are so many people out there that are missing out. There's so many people that have no idea what kind of movie this actually is. I hope in the future the studio takes this property seriously with their marketing because this movie deserves so much more. You can still make a captivating trailer like the Spider-Verse movies and kids will still probably go see it. So if you haven't seen Transformers 1, I highly recommend you go see it in the theater. The voice acting is great and the overall story between Optimus Prime and Megatron is something special. So yeah. Here's to more Transformers movies without Megan Fox getting her leg humped by a Decepticon.